See, forgiveness is a hard thing for many of us to give. Forgiveness is defined as this. It is to cease to feel resentment against someone, to pardon, to give up resentment or claim to have been wronged, or to grant reprieve of a dead old. Is this not what has happened to many of us in our lives? We are so quick to want to be forgiven of a debt we owe, but we are so quick to remind others of the wrongs against us. In Ephesians 4.32 it says this, Instead, be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. See, I heard a story recently. A couple married for 15 years began having more than their unusual disagreements. They wanted to make their marriage work and agreed on an idea that the wife had. For one month, they planned to drop a slip into a fault box. The box would provide a place to let the other one know about daily irritations. The wife was very diligent in her efforts and approach. She put leaving the jelly top off the jar, wet towels on the shower floor, dirty socks not in the hamper, on and on until the end of the month. So after dinner, at the end of the month, they exchanged their boxes. The husband reflected on what he had done wrong. Then the wife opened her box and began to read. They were all the same message. The message on each slip said, I love you. Man, so this got me. You know, if I was to keep a record of times I had been felt wronged by somebody, I could probably fill a suitcase. But am I really being wronged? Or am I just thinking more of myself than I should? So many times in my life, pride makes me think that I don't deserve to be talked about like that. Or who do they think they are to talk down to us? You see, we forget that Jesus, fully God and fully man, came to earth and became one of us in order to serve us, love on those people who would speak ill of him, and eventually beat him, hung him on a cross and killed him. See, going one step further, he took all of my sin, all of my shame on himself. What an example of perfect humility and being a servant to others. I said this before, but Pastor Neil shared something a teacher shared with him, and it has resonated in my heart ever since. So he said this, you know you're a servant when someone treats you like a servant and you don't react. What are you carrying around today that you have not forgiven others for? Is it really worth it, honestly? What if you weren't forgiven of the things Christ knows about you that no one else knows of? I sent a text message this week to a person I had been carrying some anger towards most of my life. I asked for forgiveness for things I had said to them and for not forgiving them. It was one of the hardest times I have ever hit the send button on my phone. But I will tell you this, it was a freeing moment in my life. See, we are putting slips of paper of all the wrongs others are doing to us into our heart each day. And God is simply saying, I love you. Now show that love to the others around you.